This is the car to go C Line 5. Motorhome C Line L Generation 2. This one is 747 centimeters long and it offers a payload of 335 kilos. All of which could actually go in here, should you so desire, as that can take 350. Of course, that wouldn't leave nothing for your good selves, together with some water and some fuel. This vehicle costs, in this condition, 103,495 euros, although the base price is 92,100, and give 227 centimeters wide, 289 high. You've got access there to your batteries which is easy to get to and here we have some of the double floor storage system. Well, the double floor means to say that it's uh, going to be better insulated but one very good feature is that it can also be used for storage. Now that's important in a way because I want to show something in here which is around this seating group. So we've got the bed above the seating group, group and we've got this chair and behind the chair there's a television which pops in and out. In my opinion that chair is there just adding to clutter, it shouldn't be there. You can see it does give some storage from the other side but uh, all the same I think it does rather impede how you move in and out around the table and it may also impede the passenger side chair there when it's turned around. One thing it also impedes is this bed. It's what 30 centimeters almost of headroom which has been lost. Now in some models where the height of the vehicle is much higher then it is not so obvious. In this case, however, it is pretty obvious. One good thing I'd say though about the bed is that there's a skylight above it. So when the bed comes down, if you want, you can stick your head out the skylight and look at what you've got around you. Looking back, we can see we've got a double bed in there, which it, remember how big the garage was despite that there's a queen bed in here if you don't want this version of the queen bed it comes with other versions as as well before we come to the bedroom we have this spice rack you can get lots of bottles of wine in there wonderful lighting elements in my opinion and down here we have more storage, a lot more storage, that's thanks to the double floor. Cartico often put this coffee machine in here and that goes and hides itself up there. DeLonghi coffee, do you want something like that? Personally, I, personal taste of course, but I rather have one of these little Italian cafetiera and I find that makes the much better coffee. That's for my taste. Maybe you think something else. Now we've got stacks of space around the bed. Uh, well, as far as storage here is concerned, you've got both sides have got the same thing. And you can walk up to the bed using these steps. Now, the advantage of a queen bed is that you don't have to wake up the person you're with as you get in and out. And this is a pretty large bed at that. The downside is often that you pay for it by having a smaller garage, but that's not the case here. The garage here is absolutely enormous. And although the steps themselves are quite high, I think older people could be able to manage that. Of course there comes a time in life when you need a lower bed. Under the bed, we've got drawers and additional 
storage, which also makes use of the double flow. See, so it goes down deeper. Here we have a shower with a duck board. Duck board could be useful as you're walking past, getting out of bed once your partner has been in the shower and left the floor all wet. And there's the toilet. I think this is an outstanding van. It is a little bit, I think, long. 747 centimeters. In my opinion, the ideal length is between 650 and 700. But look at the quality of the fittings, the lighting. It's really quite outstanding to be in here.